So let's now go ahead and build our first app, which is going to be the blog app. Back in our project then, let's go ahead and just remove that. Let's open up our terminal. Just make sure that you're in your virtual environment. If you aren't, uh, just check out the previous tutorials and so on, or have a look at your notes that hopefully you made to get back into the virtual environment. Right, so we're going to need mean blah, blah. we're going to need to make a new app here. Now, first of all, we need to make sure where we are. We need to know where we are to make our app. Now, so far I typed in LS. That tells me, let me just change the screen. That tells me that I am currently inside of, uh, looks like this folder here. So I do need to go into my DJ blogger folder where my manager.py is to run the command. So let's go into CD and then dot slash DJ blogger. So I now have the manage.py command here so I can start working here. Right, so with that there, let's go ahead now and what we're going to do is we're going to create, so we're going to be working inside of this folder. So we're going to place everything inside of the DJ blogger folder. That's the plan. So what we're going to do here, we've got our test folders before. So we do want to make our folder right inside of here. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. Let's call that blog. So our app is going to be called blog. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and run the command. So manage.py, uh, doesn't look like, yeah. So dot slash manage.py and then start app. So this is the Django command start app to create a new app. And then I name the app. So the app is going to be called blog. And then I need to specify where I want to store it. So at the moment, remember com the command prompt is inside of this folder here, the outer. So I need to go into the, oh, sorry, I'm in the, yes, yeah, so I'm in the outer. So I need to go into this inner. So DJ blogger slash and then blog. So that's where I want to create my new app. Right. So no name, no module name dot EMV. Right. So settings base line four. So the problem we have here is that when we copied our folder, our project folder from the desktop to our GitHub folder, we forgot before we copied it to update the requirements file. We didn't update the requirements file to include Django and the other extensions that we need in order to get the application working correctly. So what we need to do is just go back into the requirements file here and to then pip install all the other modules again and just make sure that we have everything installed so that we can continue the project. So let's uh, pip install. Let's make sure we've installed Django. So hopefully this is making sense. What's happened? Um, just to reiterate again, apologies if I'm repeating, you already understand. But in the previous step, what we did was we copied everything across from our desktop folder, project folder, to our GitHub folder. And then we run the requirements after that. And of course, that didn't capture the fact that we've installed Django and so on. So that's the problem here. So we need to install Django. Let's just clear that. And then we need to install the other app here, the .env app. So remember that was python.env. That's what we are utilizing. So copy that. Let's go back and just uh, pip install that. I think that's uh, pretty much all. So once we've done that, let's now update our requirements file. So let's pip freeze like we did in the previous tutorials. And then let's save that to our requirements file. Now notice that I can't do that because we're not in that location. And this is where it gets a bit tricky and we need to uh, start focusing on where we are. So we're inside the folder and you notice that the requirements file doesn't exist there. So in actual fact, what we need to do is we need to go up a level, up a directory. So CD dot dot dash, that would take us up a directory. And now we can see that when we type in LS, we can now see the requirements text file. So if I press up, 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 up on the keyboard, until I get to where I need to. I didn't run the command. Okay, so let's run pip freeze and then requirements. Okay, so that's gonna save it now. We should have everything now in our requirements, including Django and um, we have black. Um, yep. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it for that. So let's go ahead now and try this again. Right, so we need to go back into our folder. 
So we need to cd back into dot slash dj blogger. So that takes us back into here. That's where our blog is and our settings file, manage.py file, sorry, inside of here. And now we can do the command again. So dot slash manage.py. And if it doesn't come up, it means probably in the wrong directory. And then we need to start app. We need to name the app blog and then specify where we want to put it. So it's going to be DJ blogger slash blog. And there we go. So now when we go into the blog folder, you can now see Django's added all the files related to this new app. So I do apologize for the changes there, but it does give us a lot of opportunity to practice some of the basic skills that we're going to need and start to think about in terms of where we are in the directory structure in regards to the terminal here so we can run specific commands. And it gives us an overview as well of the requirements file and why it's important. Sorry, I mean, why it is so important. Why it's so important? I don't know why I said that. Why it is so important. And now before we move on to the next tutorial, we are going to need to register our app so that Django knows that this new app exists. So to do that, let's go over to our main DJ product folder here, DJ blogger folder, and we need to go into the settings and the base. Let's go into the installed apps here and let's add this now to the installed apps. So we're going to find this in DJ blogger dot blog. So that's where we're going to find this app. That's where Django is going to find the app. And then once that's done, because we've configured our application in such a way that blog is inside of our main DJ blogger, our main app folder here, we are going to need to change the apps here. So this name now needs to be DJ, I keep doing that, blogger dot blog. So we need to make that change as well. That's in the blog apps.py file. 